Hi, my name is Nisha and I work here at Dino. On behalf of Dino, we would like to personally thank you for being our esteemed customer. Before you get started using the Dino Broadcaster, there are a few things that you need to know how to do. First is logging in, then how to use settings, your video settings, so that you can get the best video quality possible for your live stream. Of course, how to use your live stream, how to record those live streams, how to upload, and how to manage your videos. I'm going to walk you through all of this today, so pay close attention. Let's get started. Step 1. Log in. Double click on the Dino Broadcaster. Then enter your username and password. If you forgot your password, click on Forgot Your Password and we will send you a new one. Then click Sign In. Step 2. Settings. In order to have an effective live stream, it's important to have the best possible video settings. In order to access settings, click on File and then Settings. Then go to App or Desktop. You'll see here that there are several different video modes. These are all optimized for different types of videos that you may have. For example, if you are trying to broadcast your camera, you'll see here that the resolution is 640 by 480, the frame rate is 25, and the bitrate is 1 Mbps. However, if you'd like to live stream photos, you'll see that the resolution is fit to source, the frame rate is 5 fps, and the bitrate is 600 kbps. Since I'd like to broadcast a movie, I'm just going to go ahead and click on Movies. Then click OK. Step 3. Live Stream. If you already have your Dino Easy Grabber, you know that you can just connect your Easy Grabber to your camcorder and you'll be able to grab the video camera feed onto your computer, like what I'm doing right now. There are also other ways that you can grab your video feed and put it onto your computer. The key to live streaming is really just taking the Dino D out of the Dino D box and dragging it onto the video camera feed. Let me show you. Drag the D out of the box, and in this case, I'm going to drag it onto myself, which is also for you, you know, a, the conference that you're streaming, the sports event that you're streaming, or the birthday party, whatever it, ha whatever it may be. Release the D, and on the bottom right-hand corner of my desktop, you will be able to see the thumbnail image of the live event. You'll also be able to see other important information, such as the amount of bitrate, the frame rate, and also the volume level. Step 4. Record. To record your video, simply press the record button. Once you click on the record button, it will be saved as an mp4 file on your computer. This can then be accessed by going to File, Settings, then going to View Recorded Videos, and then sorting by date. Step 5. Upload videos. There are two ways to upload videos. The first way that I'm going to show you is how to upload your video using the Dino Broadcaster. If you do want to use the scheduled playlist or the scheduled replay, you have to use this method. Do this by clicking on Upload, then browsing for the file that which you'd like to upload. Double click on the file and then click Upload. Once your video has been uploaded successfully, you will get the Upload Success message. Step 6. Now I'm going to walk you through how to upload the video using your Video Manager or our Web Uploader. If you want to use this upload method, you will not be able to use this for your playlist, which I'll show you how to use. In addition, I'd like to show you how to manage all of your video content. To access your Video Manager, click on any web browser. Then go to dino.com slash login. Enter your username and password. To upload a video, simply click on the Video Uploader tab. Select your video to upload, and it'll automatically start uploading. Once the blue bar hits the very end of the screen, then you will know that the video has been uploaded. Complete. In order to create a playlist, click on Create New Playlist. Let's title this Demo. The Playlist Description for our Dino customers. Now create the playlist. You can see here in my demo section that this is not published, but I can edit this by adding the videos that I would like for the playlist. You can see here at the very bottom that I have several videos that I may want to add to my playlist. I'm just going to click on the videos that I want and I'm just going to keep adding it to the playlist. Continue clicking adding to playlist, 
all of the videos that you want. These videos will play in the order in which they are placed in the playlist. Once you are done, click the close button. You will see now that my demo playlist has three videos. I can then publish this. It's also important for me to schedule my playlist. I can do this by click picking a start date. I would like this to start playing today on Wednesday the 23rd and as soon as possible. So let's say 1250. Because these are videos that I'd like to play in a loop, I'm just going to click continuous. If you want this to play on the hour every hour, you can click on hour or daily or weekly. You can also choose when you would like to end by. But I would like this to keep playing over and over again. Then click close. You have officially scheduled your very first playlist. Don't really care about the playlist feature and just want a whole bunch of on-demand videos? No problem. In order to have an online video, make sure to click on the Video Library tab. Once you click on this, it'll take you to this page. Every video that you have ever uploaded to your channel has been published here. It is automatically set to unpublished until you publish it by clicking this button. Once it turns green, you can automatically see it. In order to change the title, click on the video click edit and then change the title. I'm going to change this to demo video. Then click save changes. In order to see your playlist and also your on-demand videos, all you need to do is go to your channel page. You can do that by opening a new tab in your web browser and then going to your channel. In my case it's dino.com slash Nisha. You will see here that I have a wide variety of demo videos. The demo video that I just played is right here and also my other demo video on On Demand. An important part of any Dino video portal is the social share feature. There are two main ways that Dino allows you to share socially. You can do that by using the Facebook chat, the Twitter chat, or the Dino chat. Just use Facebook Connect to log in to start chatting. Now I can write anything. I also have the I also have the option to post to Facebook. Once I post to Facebook, people can then click on the link and it'll bring them back to this page. In this instance with the Miss California videos, I can tweet by clicking on the tweet button. And I can also share on my Facebook. These have pre-populated messages that will bring each viewer back to this page. The more people that tweet and share, the more people that are able to watch the videos. We thank you again for using the Dino Universal Broadcaster in order to broadcast your live events. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at dyyno.com.